It's Nolan. What's going on, y'all? It's the kid, Jay Nolan here. Yeah, I know. The last couple of days have been wild, man. We still on the same subject. Nicki Minaj versus Megan Thee Stallion. If you're not into it, you don't want to talk about it, you should have never clicked on this video and you should make better decisions with your life if you're offended, okay? Now let's get to the matter at hand, shall we? So, a couple days ago, Megan Thee Stallion dropped her scathing diss record, Hiss, going at Nicki Minaj, allegedly Drake, allegedly Tory Lanez, Partisan Fontaine, and some others that we don't even know just yet, but it seems to be about six or seven people. We've gone over this. Nicki Minaj for the past 72 hours has gone on social media. She's been acting out. She's been posting videos of herself in the studio. She played a hint, a preview of a diss record, Bigfoot. She's been on Twitter going back and forth with Megan fans, talking down on people, talking crazy, putting out threats, liking posts from her toxic fans that are trying to dox people and all types of things just a very toxic nature very bad energy circulating but then she tries to make it seem like god has her back so much as i've stated in my previous videos Nicki minaj is a very talented artist extremely talented artist for the first 15 years of her career i wouldn't even say 15 maybe 12 or so she was the undisputed champ of female rap she held that title snugly nobody even Nobody even challenged it, really. The only chink in her armor was Sheether. Now, Megan Thee Stallion comes out and defends herself. They've been going at it in their albums, in their music, making taking shots at each other for the last couple of years. Only people that really listen to bars have been catching it, but it hasn't really rose above the surface. Megan Thee Stallion comes out, decides, hey, man, I'm not finna play with none of you motherfuckers. I already put, put everything to the test. You know what I'm saying? I put out Cobra to let it be known what the fuck was going on. You know what I'm saying? As far as her relationship status and all the niggas she was dealing with. But then she wanted to come back and address the onlookers, the other people in the industry that have also sat by the sidelines um, and judged her, dogpiled on her, or silently moved against her behind the scenes that people were also taking note of. So she decided to put out a joint just lashing out at everybody. Again, Nicki Minaj has been online you know, rather than going to the bars, going to the pen, going to the studio and making that diss record that everybody was waiting on, it never came. Now she's trying to blame Megan Thee Stallion, Juicy J, and Lil Jew made the beat as to why her response never came out. This is the wildest part of the story to me because everybody is affiliated with Megan Thee Stallion. But let's just get to the story, man. Let's not beat around the bush. I just wanted to catch up anyone that didn't really see what was going on. Nicki Minaj says, apparently we waiting on Lil Juju to clear that beat that I've had for six years, child. Juicy J said that's who mainly produced. So now that's who we got to go through. Hmm. Thanks. You be the judge of what's happening. So apparently Juicy J and Lil Ju made the beat six years ago, allegedly, which would have been in 2018. They sent the beat to Nicki Minaj. It's been sitting in the tuck. All of a sudden, we get this diss record from Megan Thee Stallion. Now she wants to go back and bring this beat to life, right? She said she did a sample or played a sample of it a couple weeks ago. Now she's mad that uh, Juicy J and Lil Ju on the beat, or Ju made the beat, aren't clearing it for her. But you've already shown your hand that this is going to be a diss record aimed at Megan Thee Stallion. As I stated in my previous video, Juicy J has been a very vocal, very visible advocate for Megan Thee Stallion since she came out so I was trying to understand how the hell he could have been making a beat for her to diss Megan on that seemed fishy to me it didn't seem right they've collaborated on numerous songs he's produced numerous songs on her projects makes absolutely no sense then you have Lil Ju made the beat he's Megan Thee Stallion's primary producer ever since she first came out so if you're going to go through two people that are affiliated with the artist in question that you're trying to diss or talk about, why on earth would they clear it? That doesn't make any logical sense. And for anybody that's a fan of Nicki Minaj, you need to question yourself if you think it makes any sense. Because why would I help you diss somebody in my camp? Nah, nigga, that's not how this shit going. I'm not going to assist you. I'm not going to fucking make it easy for you. I'm talking about some old Nika Roman. So you signed off on both your true identity 
and your alter ego. Fuck out of here, yo. She goes on to say they were so excited for me to use the beat before. I'm sure they were excited for you to be for you to use the beat six years ago. A lot changes in six fucking years. Lil Jew wasn't even a dude like that. He was just producing for Megan on her breakout shit. He was brand new to the game. I'm sure he was excited just to co-produce a track with Juicy J. Yeah. Six years ago, Megan Thee Stallion was a fucking barb, a fan, somebody who looked up to you. And we see how that went. Six years ago, every other female in rap was a barb. But somehow you found a way to reverse all that favor. Hmm. For me, that's what I'm looking at. She says, got the receipts to prove that too. We don't need the receipts. We could believe that they were excited. They should have been excited. But you sat on it. Now that you're enthralled in a beef, you want to go back to the old beat they sent you. Fuck out of here wonder what happened get up on your good foot went that hard off of ig live nah son at juju y'all no no you're the opposition why would anybody that's like that's like hey i want to go shoot your homeboy block up give me his address no <laughs> if you find it on your own cool but what the fuck no so little jew comes out and he puts a meme out saying uh nah Letting it be known publicly, no, I'm not doing shit for you. What the fuck? Like, I just, I just, <laughs> I just produced the disc record that got you online for 72 hours. <laughs> Excuse me? So then, because she's offended or because she feels a way, she pulls up an old tweet from uh, Lil Jew Made to Be talking about, bro, Nicki Minaj finding a bitch. This is from 2016. She says, yep. Again, who gives a fuck? I'm sure in 2024, Lil Jew still think you fine as fuck, but he not finna help you. What the hell, bruh? So she comes out and one of her fans says, we knew and we don't care. Thank you for showing the world y'all really trying to sabotage Nikki. You can't sabotage somebody if it's clear that y'all going against each other. That's actually kind of the point. Y'all folks, man, y'all really got to get a, <laughs> I don't know, man. Y'all got to get your head checked, man. Y'all definitely got to go get an MRI on your shit, man. It's not clicking for some of y'all. The light bulb is flickering, but it just won't stay on. So Nikki says, so they had the same management. What a surprise. Fuck them having the same management. They be in the same studio. God damn. Talking about their final answer is only if she has seven figures. That makes a lot of fucking sense to me. If you got a million dollars, I will let you. You could get the beat and you could dis. Megan, because we already talked about it. We're going to split that bit. We're going to let you do what you do. Because then that's cashing in both ways. Pay a million dollars. You're going to make your diss record. And you're going to have to get a little Jew made to beat. His credit on the production and his publishing rights. Yeah, that makes sense. If you want to, if you think you want to try to infiltrate our camp, we already done had a conversation about it. We'll give you the beat if you, if you think you're going to rip it like that. How you going to rip it like that, son? You could do that. But we're going to get paid on both sides. So the home team ain't going to lose at no point. She goes on. God told me he'd expose from the bottom to the top. God ain't told you a motherfucking thing. Let's be clear. Tell me, I love it. Had I told y'all most sheep wouldn't have believed me. Now everything is getting said immediately. Your fans are idiots. If, they, if they're rolling with this and they feel like they're following and treading along, these people don't deserve to have internet access. Someone else says, Lil Jew is hilarious. That simple ass beat could be replaced easily. Nikki says, when Juicy J needed a verse and a video, I did it, LOL. Love when it all comes together publicly. Scared as F of me. What a fucking key. See, this is the problem. When Juicy J needed a verse and a video or wanted a verse or whatever he did or whatever his tactic was to get that feature and video from you, everything was good, right? However, there's certain lines people ain't going to cross in the industry. If somebody take you see y'all are y'all are industry peers. Y'all ain't friends. Right? Nicki Minaj, you don't know Megan and her mom. It's my understanding Juicy J did. So that's a different type of line. And if anybody were to cross you in that way, you would be feeling some type of way about it and we'd never hear the end of it for the next five years because you know how to stretch a problem that you got into the goddamn next millennium. We still hear you going up, going set, going out sad over the fact that you haven't gotten a Grammy. 
Let's let's chill. Yes, it's coming out publicly, not because they scared, but because, nigga, I'm not finna. Whatever it is that you're trying to do, I'm not just going to let you pass go and collect 200 in my fucking face and then spit in it. Going even further, she says, you scary ass, pussy ass, broke ass hoe. Scared of me putting a song out, but trying to spar with the motherfucking queen. Lied on your dead. And we know she's talking about lied on your dead mother. And then she acts Megan Thee Stallion. Right. So this is the first time that she actually put that official stamp to say, yeah, <laughs> you knew I was talking to you. But today I'm putting an ad on it since you said that you won't address me. That part, I'm not even mad at because in hip hop for the last few years, everybody's been putting out the subliminals. Right. All of the shots they're 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 pointed in a way that you know what's going on. But nobody's saying each other's name. Nobody's putting an ad on it. But then they're getting on social media and then it gives additional context to what's going on. So I can appreciate her saying, nah, I'm talking to you. I'll give her points for that. However, hey, dog, <laughs> if if Juicy J and Lil' Ju Made the Beat don't clear it, you might want to goddamn go on YouTube and find you some shit. There's plenty of beats on YouTube. You could <laughs> you could pay the whole 500 the 500 and get exclusive rights. You could have dropped the song the same night if you felt that strongly about it. But clearly you did. She comes back. The bitch ain't streamed in 84 years. Her team don't want me to drop because they know those numbers going to embarrass her lying lipo ass. And she know I got proof of what she did. And after how she allowed her best girlfriend to be bullied, attacked and ripped to shreds while Kelsey was pregnant with her first child. After she had fucked her best friend, man, it wasn't enough. But this y'all girl's girl, right? Any mother taking this woman's side, may God strike you down. Don't don't want me to drop because she got to have a ghostwriting session for another week to get back to me. What about your ghostwriting session? It took three days. I had the song beat for six years. Not like a hit. Juju eat dick for shit. Huh? What a scary ass bitch. Yikes. Pink Friday 2 is platinum. Okay, that's great. Awesome. We saluted you for Pink Friday 2, as a matter of fact. Even when I wasn't all that crazy about the album, I gave you praise for the songs that I did like. And I saluted you when when people were speculating that you had gone platinum within a few days. I was like, hey, shit, this is awesome. Turns out that wasn't even true. I saluted the Gag City thing. I didn't know how massive that was going to be. I came out and admitted I was wrong, as a real person should do. But the problem is we got so many people out here that are biased. They're one-sided. They have no uh, uh, they have no objectivity. They have no real pulse inside their body. They're just blind followers. So they're going to ride with all of the nonsensical things that you say just to keep their alliance to you, which is not an alliance at all, because if you say jump and they don't jump, you're going to discard them as fans. But... Let's get back to this tweet. And she hasn't streamed in 84 years is a false. It's just false. She has a fan base of people. They're streaming her music. Yeah, she's not platinum. Cool. You hadn't gone platinum in a while either. You finally made your way back. Now you popping shit. It's crazy. We don't know. A lot of people do speculate that Megan got lipo and she been in the gym training ever since. But we do know she's been training. Uh, she's gotten down back to the size Around the size of when she first came on the scene. Whatever she did. you Why would you? <laughs> you as somebody who's gotten cosmetic work on your body. Uh, how could you ever try to shame somebody else for doing the same? You was out here wearing booty pad. You had the booty pop. <laughs> you was in the club in the music videos with a booty pop on. Taking, taking off your motherfucking. Taking off an air mattress. When you got back to the crib, man, we got to stop this, man. You want to throw Kelsey in there? You claim you talked to Kelsey. Kelsey said that was false. Everybody's keeping up this narrative that Megan effed Kelsey's man. I just want to understand how that works because when uh, this triumvirate, this trio was discovered, the nigga was all over Megan to begin with. Y'all seen them Rock Nation brunch photos where he's posted up behind Megan Booty. Uh, what made y'all think he was serious about Kelsey if they did that on camera in a, in a photo, in a photo? That narrative just don't seem right to me. Then you want to say she got ghostwriters. We ain't seen no ghostwriters. Y'all claiming that party was ghostwriting for her. But like I said yesterday, 
The music has not changed before she met Party, and it's still the same. The flows are the same. The cadences are the same. The style is the same. Only thing that has changed is her production choices, and she's getting back to her original production style because she's working with Lil Jew more these days. So what are y'all really proving? You really just pulling the wool over your fans. Nobody else in hip hop believes you. She goes on to say, it's been ready for two days. Just was trying to be cool and let her get her little streams. Wasn't going to say anything. That is a fucking lie. You can't sit still for 10 minutes. Your ass got up late last night just to come back and say some shit. But I remember how everyone kept my name in their mouth and how I said the next person mentioned my family going to regret it. By the way, they haven't even heard the song. Who said it's even a diss? Well, what else would it be? If you're responding back, what would it be? You showed your hand talking about Bigfoot, six foot, Rick foot, click foot with the drink foot. Who else you talking about? It's a diss. Never even knew I had this much power. How could you not know how much power you have when you're out here effectively turning into the motherfucking Donald Trump of hip hop? You're taking that title from Kanye West. You have blind followers who are willing to follow your ass into the depths of hell. No matter how hot it gets, they still coming. You're out here supporting Ben Shapiro and Tom McDonald, two anti-hip-hop people trying to use hip-hop as a platform to, to get right-wing motherfuckers behind them and you saluting them on their song. How the fuck that work? You out here, <laughs> you out here trying to talk down on this woman who was shot by a man, but you're making fun of the fact that she was shot. You're saying get up on your good foot. Since when is that uh, female empowerment? Thought that was your whole objective since you came in the game. Y'all are out here retweeting videos of her visibly limping when the police showed up at the crime scene. This is what you're doing. But you're trying to make it seem like you care and love women. This is why your peers are now unfollowing you across the board. People that loved you are now saying, I can't ride with this. I can't go no further. You're talented as shit, but your personality is reeking. Bad spirits, bad vibes are following you right now. How could you not know you have that much power? You've been the number one top dog in your spot for the last 16 years. Yeah, you would have a lot of power. Same way that Wayne would have power. Same way Jay-Z has power. Same way Beyonce has power. Same way Rihanna has power. You're, those are supposed to be your, your crew of peers. However, they're up here. You're falling and you're killing your own legacy. You're shooting yourself in the foot. Tory Lanez will never have to do it to you. Didn't charge her for the hot girl summer verse that I recorded the night she begged and begged to go on my live. But it's okay. My nigga Pluto charged her 250k for his verse. Um, are you trying to are you trying to make it seem like Future called you and consulted with you about the price tag, or was that just his price? Cause he didn't really have a relationship with her like that. See, y'all, you all be trying to use these misnomers because your fans are idiots. You did the hot girl summer verse because she was the hot new shit. And you got on that fucking record. Same way you went and found Ice Spice. Ice Spice can't wrap a motherfucking cheeseburger at McDonald's. But you aligned yourself with her because she was the new hot shit. Because Drake said so. Let's be honest about what's going on. Right? You aligned yourself with the new hot chick. Y'all made a hit record. The record wasn't that good, by the way. That record was almost like the start of her ending because it took her so far away from the style of music that everybody liked from her. It was a pop sensation, but it actually made a lot of people be like, what the fuck is this? That's not what I wanted from a Megan Thee Stallion, Nicki Minaj collab. Let's move forward. She says, they said I was winning because I had no competition. Now these bitches so weak, they want no competition. I've seen a lot of weak shit in my career, but never in my life. Seen a big foot call bitches pussy, say they won't respond, and tell her producer and management not to approve the beat. All right. So let's put this in context of real, real shit that you've seen in the industry, right? Kanye goes and produces a Drake diss song towards Jay-Z and knew, and knew what it was because of the timing cleared it and said everything's fine what do you think is gonna happen they wouldn't do it right they, it would be a conversation yo they calling me up to do this da, 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 da. yeah we're not we're not doing that but all of a sudden 
Why would you expect the competition to help you? That's like, that's like the Golden State Warriors going out there and just letting LeBron dunk on them every play. Come, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, bro, it's your time to shine, bro. It's your turn. We we got chips already. Come come shine, nigga. Come score 70 on us, nigga. God damn. Why you wait? Nigga, shoot the fucking ball. Nigga, it's a clear path. 360 that bitch, bro. That's not how competition works. And you can't try to sidestep somebody for somebody on their team to aid you in that. Nobody else would do that. It's not even about the fact that they got the same management. It's about the fact that they're close i mean party speculated that they slept together we don't know how true that is probably false but as long as that narrative is alive it goes to show you why on earth if this is this this man's work why would he jeopardize his connection with her the relationship she's a breadwinner number one you know what i mean why would he sacrifice all that to to, to clear a beat so you could dis his folk. I'm starting to think people handing out stupidity like communion. What are we doing? All because she can't stand to have real comp. This hoe is officially the weakest hoe I've seen thus far. Any bitch that fuck her friend man is a jealous, insecure, bitter, funky butt cum rag. This is this is the lady that y'all have hoisted up to be the so-called queen of rap. I don't see any queen nature here. Despite having an album titled Queen, the behavior is not lining up. The legendariness is not adding up. Now, make no mistake. This Bigfoot record or whatever she's dropping today, it comes out at 6 p.m., 3 p.m. Pacific time, 6 p.m. Eastern. If the shit's banging, I'm going to get my ass right back here on YouTube and I'm going to tell y'all how banging that shit is. If she go on there and she got some scathing disses and she got some real facts and she got some shit that sound good, Right. I'm going to get my ass back on camera and I'm going to tell y'all that shit fire. I'm not here to be biased. My issue with Nicki Minaj is that she puts out all of this bait, all of this feed. Right. She's been online endlessly. She's putting out tweets. She's putting out videos. She's going live. She's doxing people. She's doing all of this shit, which is feeding the algorithm is feeding content creators like myself with information. Because it's the closest anybody's going to get to a personal statement from her. But at the same time, she's effectively tarnishing her her legacy in real time. Anybody that's not willing to say that, anybody that's not willing to actually speak on that part of it, you are part of the problem. You're staying, you're following blindly, and that's not what hip hop is about. It's just not. I don't give a fuck how much of a fan you are. You need to be able to call some shit out when it's wrong, call some shit out when it's right. And when a person cleans it up, be able to say, I appreciate the fact that you cleaned that up because that shit wasn't right. Now we can move forward. It's just that simple. I'm not a barb. I'm not a hottie. I'm not none of that type of shit. To be honest, if you put 20 of these songs on right now, I might choose five out of the whole entire compilation of both of them that I'm going to be like, yeah, I'm really fucking with it. But as a hip hop fan... I'm watching this. I'm seeing this. We're all entertained by it. This is the first real beef in a while where it's just like blatant. They really going toe to toe with each other. They not holding no punches. They putting real addresses on what's going on. And when I say addresses, I'm just saying the, the subliminals are more direct. So, yes, we're going to commentate about this shit. We're going to make content about this shit. We're going to cash in on what need to be cashed in off of this shit as long as y'all keep on doing it. Keep showing up to work. And so will we. That's how this shit is going to go. Okay? So I'm going to see y'all in a little bit. And y'all going to know how I feel. If this Bigfoot record is a smash, I'm going to tell you. If it's ass, you're going to smell it. All right? Let me know what y'all think of all this down below in the comments. Be sure to like and share this video. If this is your first time seeing me on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit the post notification bell for all updates. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Y'all be safe out there, man. Peace! Yeah. King of my city in cul de sac. Uh. Coming, I swing like soldier rat. Yeah. Leading my people like quarterback. But I study this shit, I'm an almanac. Yeah. Had to get up and grind. Knowledge is booming, I'm here to apply. Yeah. Came with the chip and the dip, it just single the mind. We finna do more to survive. I need my check. Yeah. Spinning the block for the gooder, we hitting the jeweler to flood out the net. Yeah. 
We don't do beef on computers, I'm straight out the sewer, we come with you rest uh, Niggas be looking perplexed, so keeping my foot on their neck No map, I trust my gut for the quest, but drama I'm full of your breast I was ready for years and they died of me, all of a sudden they tell me they proud of me I been dropping these haters like calories, cross my mind I came back with some battery Stand for my honor, but you run no counter, packing the stick with a drummer Wanna catch my bad one fumble, I done came too far to be humble